Hello students, once again, welcome to our last section on mail match, basically. Uh, my name is Mr. Bean Closey, and I'll be taking you through mail match function, of which is the last area, basically, where we are now talking about the merging of the documents. Now, for us to be able to do this, basically, we have to recap a little bit that on 5A, that is the first section that we dealt with on on mail match, we dealt with creation of a data file. We created a data file. Then from there, we inserted a field, basic fields in your letter or in your notices that was intended to be sent for your recipients. So this one is a very much a short session whereby we will be looking at how do you now complete the merge between the first section that is the data file that has been created together with the document that has been also being prepared using the merge field. So in this particular uh, uh, session, we'll be looking at how do we merge documents. Then for us to be able to do that, basically, again, we will be making reference to certain questions that are related to question to the question paper, same question paper that is uh, November 2016 exam question paper. So now the last section, basically, now it tells us that we needed to match the document that has been created on question 5A and 5B to form a new document. Now, I'm sure you are familiar with this document that we created lastly on question 5B. Now, the document has been created. Now, all we are being asked to do is and to ensure that as we have inserted the fields that have been created on question 5a on 5b now all that has been created now we needed to bring the two together to form a new document so for us to be able to do that again you will go to mailings then you will see this tab here of which it says finish the match so we click on match then we can say edit individual document what is it that you want to match? So we want to match all the records that have been created on 5A together with the letter that have been created on question 5B. So we say we select all records by default, then we say OK. Then you will notice basically now these are the three letters that have been created, one for Mr. Walls. And then if you scroll down, we have another one that has been created for Mr. S. Bester. Then you have another one that has been created for Mr. A. Simons. So our letters basically, now this is a new document basically that has now been created through merge. So now the next question says we must change the header to question 5C and then basically on all the pages of the new document. So now basically we needed to go to our header. We've changed it from 5B to 5C. Then the next instruction says basically we must print the match letters using a portrait function and then we must save the letters as question 5C and then place this in an examination folder. So we go to file, we go to save us, then we needed to save this as 5C. We needed to save this as 5C. So now that has been saved as question 5C, then we need to make sure that basically our printout, it's in a portrait format. So it's in a portrait format. Then after that, we go to file, then we go to print, then we print basically to any printer that we are connected to. So students, basically that was our last uh, question. Okay, uh, I see basically the rest of the document didn't change to 5C. But in essence, basically, I think that is why also they said we needed to ensure that all documents have been changed to 5C. So that we have changed. So this is the end, basically, of our last section, that is 5C. Please ensure that you subscribe to our videos for the next coming sessions on Excel. Please make sure that, basically, you are asking questions on the comment side. And please, we are always available. We will, basically be in touch if ever you are interested you can leave even your contact so that at least if ever we can get hold of you directly if ever there are any further uh seeking uh clarity seeking questions i thank you